So on um, when you talk about on on the guardian or, or rather whoever is financing that, um, I think you you also need to sort of understand several things. Um, if someone is teaching your child or your your, your whoever you your your rather um, helping, uh, if they if if they're training them design, it's good to know what they're actually training them in design. Yeah, and I've seen this because. Um, throughout my experience and I've also been teaching mm-hmm. I've had people who've gone to schools design schools mm-hmm. but they still want to come and join the design school where I teach ah. and then I'm like um, so what exactly were, they, were those other guys doing mm-hmm. so there's that aspect of what 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 is someone teaching mm. and if you're able to understand that very well mm-hmm. I think it's easy to proceed because uh, it's like right now telling someone you're going to teach them computer and all you can teach them is Microsoft and Word and uh, Excel uh, and PowerPoint. It's as good as useless. The packages, the exact. computer packages. The packages and then you you thrown with Photoshop. Boom. Oh my you're goodness. Designer. <laughs> 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 what the heck is that, right? Yeah, it does I mean, you see, design is, design is not a tool. Mm. It's not Photoshop, it's not Illustrator. Mm. And if to date, I, I sometimes I encounter people and then they ask me, so don't, John, can you design with Figma? So I'm like, um, I can design with any software, really, mm. because design is not the tool. It's Those you, it's are a just creative Exactly, it's you as process. a creative, it's a process. You need to understand some things. You need to be able to listen to someone and bring out what they were thinking. Yeah. Design was, right? Yeah. yeah. So that is where it sort of is more than you sort of like um, just doing shit randomly. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense, man. Uh, you said you teach. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I've met a couple of your students. Some of them are really good. And some of them actually take a notch eye and, like, be beyond, like, um, design. They do, they, now they, they put this into programming and they become great UI, UX, or front-end stuff. And that's what actually I think the future of education is. Because if you think about design, as you say, it is a creative process. And uh, from what I hear, you can correct me if I'm wrong, you are saying the stakeholders should do more research even before you know, yeah. uh, committing to certain schools or certain curriculums. Or even, even watching a tutorial, actually, you should do a research about the person who has done it and if they have, done, they have a portfolio around it. Uh, uh, here's something that maybe I may be hated for. Yeah. Uh, but... If any, if I ever meet any person that wants to, to learn design, and the first place they want to start with is um, some river or type of work, mm. uh, you clearly not out here to learn design. Yeah, you have to know good stuff. You see, th- there's this idea that uh, let's say you're doing research, you want to know um, is eating ugali healthy? Mm. How many articles exist in the, on the internet? Maybe it's a gazillion of, of articles. Gazillions of articles, right? On yeah. eating ugali. Yeah. And then we have one that has really good SEO and yeah. good ranking, <laughs> and it shows up fast. The guys know how to hack the system. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> and so it's a very shitty article. It's yeah. terrible. It's lying to you that if you eat ugali, you'll get um, what? You you'll have a big head or something. <laughs> <laughs> what and an then, example! <laughs> exactly. So you see, you 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 land on that. It's yeah. the first option. Of course, you're too lazy to do the research into the second page. Mm-hmm. So you're like, oh man, I just found out eating ugali, man. Uh, you'll have a big head. Mm. You, you realize how that sounds, right? And you go and hit all the ugali. Exactly. So with design, there's something also I always say. Mm. You see, uh, in this society, rather in this world, mm. people are used to bad design. Yeah, yeah. Bad oh, design. they have normalized it's bad normal. design because exactly, <laughs> it yeah. has been the ugali. It has been the ugali. Ah, and yeah. they don't know if you eat too much ugali, you get kosher exactly. and all these other <laughs> yeah all the issues no mm. so you see you you walk around you meet people and then no like, will um, not be happy but <laughs> it's all right <laughs> yeah, sorry in fact <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah but definitely you see the point here is um you cannot want to read from a shitty article yeah you, at least you have to be in a position to know what is shitty or what is not mm. really good yes you should be able to differentiate what is good and what is uh, what is terribly bad that is design 101 yeah mm-hmm. Exactly. So if you want to become a designer from John, mm. you need to differentiate. The first thing, you need to differentiate shitty from legit. Yeah. Or legit 
from Shiki. Yeah, you have to be able to, to, to look at something and tell and that takes this is research. bad and this is good. That takes research. Research and sometimes even uh, a keen eye. Does that also mean like, who do you want to be? Exactly. And that leads me to another question. Mm-hmm. Who is your inspiration? Like, who do you look up and say, oh my goodness, this, this guy, if I grow up, this is the guy I want to be, be as a designer. Uh, design wise um so i look at to this this guy called paul rand mm. uh genius i thought you'll say the, the guy who does the apple stuff uh, john no. ive no, it's uh, it's paul rand mm-hmm. and uh there's collins mm. so this guy runs uh, a studio uh think if you check out we are collins mm. uh you'll see his work and there's one thing he talked about and that's why i look up to these guys mostly mm-hmm. And he was talking about creative freedom. You see, creative freedom is yeah. you more than you see. There's the part of me listening to a designer, mm. to someone, so that I can design for them. Mm. And there's a part of me coming down, coming back, mm. sitting down, and then doing something because of I- it's creative freedom. You have the freedom to play around with something. Sometimes we actually choose a terrible font because you want to choose a terrible font. Yeah, exactly right. So creating freedom sort of involves you being able to make decisions yeah. and defend them. Yeah. You know, like, um, let me give you, uh, th- there's this guy called Osborne Masharia. Mm-hmm. Osborne Masharia is a Kenyan. Uh, he does, uh, he's mostly on Afrofuturism, right? Yeah. And um, so he does these photo shoots with, together with a guy, I forget the other name. Uh, and they do this insane works. Uh, like they'll take someone, um, do photography, make him look like he actually uh, survives on gadgets alone. Like he has like a tank somewhere. He has, he doesn't, he lost his leg. Mm. So he's now using like attire mm. and all that. Like So all they're that. telling stories through photography. Yeah, exactly. Ah, nice. And for me, that is also part of creative freedom, right? Mm. Like it, it transcends the part where anyone can tell me like this is shitty design. Mm. I mean... Uh, by now i have i i i i should be able to be like hey i've done this corporate design i've done this other work so in my in my world right now i'm like and that's not to really fool oneself yeah, ideally yeah. but you you've come at a point where you essentially know if i'm doing it like this mm-hmm. i'm doing it for this reason yeah and i can tell you and i can tell you i'm doing it like that uh, someone else might think it's ugly as a person might think so like it's like the guys who walk into a room and then you find a painting that is literally just gray mm-hmm. alone but the catch normally it's in maybe the feel if you touch it it's different it's different right yeah and if you, someone else would be like hey what uh, what the fuck do these rich people spend their money on mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah but but that makes sense yeah and 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 by the way, and that's why we started this in a spiritual way because another aspect of human being is to Create, procreate, and create. Create, create. A- and that's why you see. Us. And that's why you see every time there's a tech creation. Yeah. Life changes to, an, you know, to a different dimension altogether. And the best creator and creative was God. <laughs> Definitely. So, is it really true to say that you can't be a good designer if you are disconnected from the spiritual side of things? I think you cannot have the creative freedom if you're disconnected. Mm. Yeah, I mean, anybody, anyone can be a quack. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but then again... So are you saying there are good designers out there who are quack? Yeah, I call them bullshit generators. Ah. Yeah. They just produce, produce, but there's no tangible stuff, but story. There's no authenticity in it. Look at it this way. Mm-hmm. When where there exists no passion, yeah, there's literally nothing we can say. It's sort of like driving you, right? Mm-hmm. And passion is a greater drive than just anything you can understand or anything you can describe, right? Yeah. So in a way, it's coming from somewhere. Yes, yes. And that point where that passion is definitely coming from, it's beyond something you can explain most of the time, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. It's, it drives you. It makes you feel nice after you've done it and all that, but. You just know it's passion, and you have you 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 always excited to, to do something. Yeah. So in a way, there's that. What if whatever any if anyone sees it or not, <laughs> gain it comprehension. Yeah. Yeah. There's that drive, yeah. and it comes, I think, from that spiritual place. Yeah. And uh, this, I also I always say this, but we are creators. Yeah. Everyone. So that's why, again, it goes back. You're supposed to be able to do something 
by yourself something you truly carry something you start yeah. yourself yeah and then you drive it all through all through you not ah. just meant to uh, of course the world is chaotic in itself and that means of course you'll have someone anywhere that has to do the cleaning work and all that mm. but definitely everyone we, we sh- if you're conscious enough you should be able to rise above all that yeah 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 so uh, well you know people have this notion of like maybe if i do this if i achieve this if i ever design for this company i can die happily you know <laughs> do you have that moment or do you have that like this is this this is the ultimatum of whatever i'm doing like if i do this mm-hmm. i'm happy to retire i'm happy to like now chill and you know enjoy the fruit of my work even god created like six days yeah and, and the 7 day he said oh <laughs> my goodness i actually is it the 6th day where he said i love what i've created i love what i've created and then he created a human being yeah yeah and like oh my goodness this is it i can rest yeah i mean so it's mostly let me say it's something that comes once in a while mm-hmm. right And like right now for instance we have google google is in the space microsoft yeah, is, microsoft yeah. is in the space ah nice yeah and so a while back um this so when you're fresh from design school yeah some of the places you want to work at these ad agencies like uh, squad digital scanad yeah and um dentsu and all these mm. all these nice places yeah one kind of squad digital was nice because the the way we were told it it, it is nice basically is that um Uh, you actually get to go to work casually um you still there's a bar mm-hmm. there's a pool table ah. you can imagine man like that's nice right yeah yeah and yeah. then over time of course that that side dies mm-hmm. in a way mm-hmm. uh and then of course you find yourself like right now i have people for instance who've sent me like um, different opportunities like hey guy you should check this out man like uh, i think you'll, you'll actually make it yeah uh, and like right now google's there and sometimes you actually want to sort of like from being the person that uh, the, the and the kind of work that I do mm. sometimes there's this uh, thing in my head like um what if i actually got uh, what if i actually applied at google mm. or microsoft mm. and then just got to do something Except just work on something like one thing end to end end to end yeah. and then uh, i sit down and then i also have to remember why i started my business mm-hmm. and why it's heading and every time i sit down in as much as i want to do all that mm-hmm. um like um i have to sort of like find a bearing again yeah i can actually still do that so it's tempting but very very tempting something else that reminds you exactly and for me this big thing. again mm. i never ever mm. want to be seated some, down somewhere and then we told like um we love uh, you hi john uh, we love you in fact that guy will even be crying <laughs> eh? like uh, unfortunately we have to do this yeah. not that you're not working mm. but look at the times right now so, so fortunately we have to let you go mm. i never it's want a good to, feeling it's not a good feeling it's like takes away a piece of your of your yeah uh, of you exactly and then yeah. you're back again to scrapping yeah. eh? i mean i'd rather sacrifice years where i have months of nothing mm. and then months of promise Abadance. and of course if you are serious at your work and you following the ethic mm. at the end of the day you just be gets some, better yeah, yeah yeah there is no way down no way down i see i see i see yeah if google you're listening <laughs> you're the best designer in the house <laughs> it's up to you to make that call uh yeah. but all the same there's this aspect of uh tech has grown for for some time now and uh, you mentioned google is here microsoft is here microsoft is here Mm-hmm. uh maybe apple is coming soon and all these companies uh you know the, the fun yeah and they come with their positive and negative like one of the biggest complaints around tech ecosystem right now is that they are offering what you know startups can't match and they are taking away the best talent that maybe this startup have been holding to and trying to create their own google their own microsoft from africa what was your take about that Um I think it's a fair world in that type of world. Yeah. It's a fair thing mm-hmm. in that type of world. Mm-hmm. If Google comes here and they pay, can they can pay someone very well. Yeah. Awesome. Let them have everyone. Yeah. But all those people will be happy because that's what they want, right? Yes. 
and then if the other the startup cannot afford find someone who wants too that exactly too bad mm-hmm. and you see it's it's that type of world and it's technically what goes around there mm-hmm. uh, maybe the the interesting thing about that is um for instance like right now it's like this there's some sort of talent short mm. right like that's why there's yeah. poaching here and then and then yeah, there, yeah? yeah. people people do <laughs> okay if i say this it's sound biased yeah. but this is the truth people don't want to invest in pipeline mm-hmm. one thing that most of these companies forget is that there are people who have been investing in this pipeline they are, they are riding on yeah. and uh, I, i i don't want to go that dire- maybe these are conversation we can have some other time uh where maybe i can speak like go deep into this mm-hmm. and how can you do it as a, as a, as a company and do it successfully yeah. uh without breaking a bank and also without like rubbing you know uh people the wrong way uh but essentially you need to invest in that and yeah. uh, even in US like i can say this in Europe most companies don't really invest in the pipeline and we all know that you know our tertiary education across the world cannot catch up with the technology yeah it's changing so fast and the best way actually you can be able to tap into that and you know ensure that people as they graduate they have what it takes to be your employees or they contribute to your ecosystem is invest in that pipeline before yeah. they graduate or before they go, uh, go out there i know sometimes it might not be cheap but it's a necessary evil yeah well it's not a necessary evil actually it's mm. a necessary good <laughs> yeah Because when you call it evil, someone will say, you know, yeah, yeah, necessary, yeah. it's still <laughs> evil. Yeah. But it's necessary good. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who hires that person. Yeah, for the greater good. You have yeah. done the right thing. If at all you want to change the world. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Because yeah. essentially, I don't know a company that wants to change the world to the, the bad side of things. Mm-hmm. Every other company I know, big or small, they want to contribute to the betterment of our life, betterment of the way people perceive things. Uh, and all and all that yeah and uh when you when you think about that process uh there are also people who take advantage of things to go work for a client as a startup they don't want to pay yeah you go work for a corporate they want to make a deal you know under the mm-hmm. table deal where they're getting 50% of your sweat and what the company is paying for is maybe 100% of x So have you ever encountered this? Um let me look at it this way. Yep. And I would like for instance uh, let me give you a good case study and I'm not like a campaign for them. Yeah. But before Google showed up. Yeah. Um so they partnered with Coursera mm-hmm. to provide several courses. Ah yeah free, yeah yeah yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you saw that, right? Yeah. And so I was um in a position where I could see the people who people on boarding yeah. and their success rate yes. there are the success rate of people actually completing that training yes and i don't want to be the one that really just points a finger at most mostly these corporates a lot yeah but people out here need to be serious as well mm-hmm. man like very few people attend a single certificate not people, many of them people don't invest in themselves yeah exactly yeah. people are lazy man people just think uh, google will extend this thing man Ah, mm-hmm. this is notion of Africans or Kenyans. Let yeah. me be specific so that I don't sound general. You know, someone listening out uh, out there might think, uh, oh, by the Africans. No, Africa is a continent. Mm-hmm. So it has like 54 or 50, <laughs> I don't know, 50 something 52 countries. 52 countries, I think. 52 countries. Yeah. They come <laughs> imagining every day so they may be 54 yeah. or there. Okay, over 50 50 countries. Yeah. And uh, Kenya is one of those countries. Mm-hmm. Uh so Kenyans they have this uh, notion of culture uh thing where by everything everything we expect the deadline to be extended exactly and also we have this uh, uh package law where we we inflate time to fit uh, the job at hand mm-hmm. so if something has to go for 30 days someone may wait until it's two days to yeah. the deadline <laughs> and they have that another notion like ah this one gonna be extended and actually it happens to be extended So guys 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 we're living in a in a global ecosystem where we need to be more disciplined uh and and look at it that way yeah, because the ethic. otherwise you'll miss out on big opportunities thinking oh you know it's Kenya you're gonna yeah 
<laughs> I've actually Google, been meeting Google one didn't guy. Extend it. <laughs> they did extend it for actually they did? a good four months. Ah, okay. uh, but still, okay. same story. <laughs> They're waiting for another extension. Waiting for another extension. Super. Then, of course, it somewhere I'm sure somewhere it stops at the end. Mm, there is an end to these extensions. Exactly. So I've actually even so one of the other ways that you can actually, if you wanted to, yeah. you can pick that up and continue. For instance, will be now it's paid. Uh, go get in there, pay the amount you want to pay. And you can extend. It's monthly, that's the beauty. Mm. Uh, just know if you don't finish it in that month that you've also extended it for, mm. through your payment, you'll again, you're going again. to pay again. Ah. So you see, that's uh, like the opportunity that you can Touch. take. So I've even been meeting someone here and then uh, lately, then every time he's like, ah, I'm still doing it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so every time I'm like, uh, f- have you finished it? He's like, what, uh, I think the fifth week. Oh, okay. Someone has not finished it. And then every time there's a genuine uh, excuse. <laughs> it's genuine. By, by genuine, yeah. I mean genuine. Yeah. But then again, the reality, genuine again, will not help you. Mm. Uh, sometimes genuine is feeling sorry for yourself and being shitty. Yeah. You have to push the limits. Exactly. Yeah. You cannot want, you cannot, mediocrity man has, should not have room there. Yeah. It's you either want it or not. Yeah. And sometimes it's harsh. People think uh, you're not reasonable and shit. Mm. Uh, but it is what it is. If it you're is what get, it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to rise above that, <laughs> yeah. it is what it is. And, and there's something, uh, there's something there that you've said that really, I feel like we should insist on. Um, and being in this ecosystem, I've been insisting for some time that every time you you sit and think, already as an African, as a Kenyan. You are disadvantaged. Just know that automatically. But that should not give you an excuse to just say, "Okay, what am I gonna do?" Because here are so many opportunities. Of course, you are disadvantaged, but also there are other opportunities. That are like you said, Google came in, gave out free tickets for Coursera. Mm-hmm. I don't think they gave it to all the guys across the world. Yeah. Maybe they were so lenient; they, they saw you are dis- disadvantaged, and they they did something about it. Yeah. You, what did you do to ensure that now that you can use this disadvantage that you have amongst other people mm-hmm. to utilize that? That's what John is telling you. Yeah, exactly. And Don't focus so much on excuses because you'll find them. As you started saying, yeah, you'll focus always on the, the opportunities. excuses literally exist. Yeah. From the moment I decide maybe to move from this place where we're seated right now mm. and get to my house, mm. I, I, there are a bunch of reasons why I should not go there right now. Yes. I could encounter a thief. It's genuine. Yes. But do I have to go back home? Yes. Yes. <laughs> You'll do everything possible. <laughs> exactly. And go home. Yeah. Uh, you have dr- driven the point home. So, John, uh, tell me, man, uh, how, how much are the rates? How does the rate <laughs> card look like? You know, as a startup, as yeah. an entry level to when you get experience. Are you designers? You are eating well, man. Designers, yeah, we are underpaid. Yeah. Underpaid, yeah. Yeah. Let me talk for designers. You guys are doing well. Designers uh, are underpaid. You really. are doing well. Yeah. yeah. But I guess um, here's how I like to look at the red card. Yeah. And sometimes this can be misunderstood depending on who you are, where you are. Yes. And what you think about yourself. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. And so, um, again, it goes back to, and I hate to say this because sometimes it sounds like a cliche. Yeah. Uh, the value you have, mm. and again, the value I have, uh, on top of maybe, for instance, uh, the things I have to pay for, maybe. Yeah. Because sometimes uh, you have to factor all that, right? Yeah. Uh, to get to get to, to your point, basically, mm. and that means, um, being in Kenya, mm-hmm. tell someone right now, for instance, uh, charge your design, uh, a single banner, at uh, maybe fifty k. Yeah, and then be like, ah, in Kenya, no, 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 no. Mm. Uh, you can't do that. But I found someone. Uh, he wants to give me one thousand, Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. one thousand. Mm. You take one thousand or, or leave it. Yeah. So the reality is that if you stop doing shitty work, you'll definitely get better clients, mm. clients who pay. Mm. And sometimes, of course, uh, bargains are here and there, mm. and all that. Yeah. But if you are a good designer, yeah. Definitely, there's money. You'll get good money. Yes, yes. And I will not. Uh, sometimes it's relative. Other people actually, and I think people should not be thinking like this, like mm-hmm. that. So you have people who are like uh, most designers in Kenya charge 
uh, 80k yeah. or maybe for design right yeah. Yeah. and then you meet all the other people now will be like hey now we need to be competitive mm-hmm. so I'll, I'll i'll charge 70k mm-hmm. or i'll charge this much yeah so we all cram up around that price but we don't know who set it we're just That's getting into that yeah. and then yeah. just doing shit yeah uh, like it's like for instance i get online right now i want to sell books yes and then um people are selling books for 77 bob but i want to sell mine for 99 bob yes i it's not that because i have a better reason why i should charge it like that right yes. but hey i want to charge it 99 shillings mm-hmm. i'll charge it 99 shillings mm-hmm. now it goes back to again what is the value around what you do mm-hmm. and even if you say it's 99 shillings mm-hmm. can you deliver more than the average person yeah if you can deliver more than the average person awesome then 99 shillings makes sense mm. and you should not be at any given time ever really thinking about what the other person charges mm. i think charging on work is what do you want to charge and that's it yeah not to be um those guys charge this the other guys charge this yeah so i'll have to charge this yes no do it as according to your own value and of course that value for me changes every year and I, let me just Does say it increase it, reduce it is always increasing okay whether i drop you at the road on the road mm. it's okay mm. but definitely when you when you get to do this for for a long time yeah it just starts working out mm. you get someone that is willing to pay for x in fact sometimes you're like uh this is what i'll charge you yeah. and i'm like oh shit this guy does not object anything man mm-hmm. and those are the best clients design wise yeah they have no objections they let you do your work mm-hmm. but to come here meet them come out <laughs> uh, or mutiso <laughs> <laughs> and mutiso and kamangu just want to give you 10000 and then <laughs> and then they be like where you go because you waste the work yeah, yeah. have you done this yeah. no i don't like this let's do another one uh, those are the mutisos and the kamaus so are um, you saying the cheaper they be the more demanding they are yeah the more they demanding <laughs> they are i actually had a very insane experience so this in fact for me i read one red flag is um you come to me mm. and then you just complaining about your previous designer mm. and then you're like oh this design wasn't nice this this designer did this this designer did not even deliver on time yeah for me that's a red flag <sighs> because designers are most of the time <laughs> ask that person yeah. okay what is the charge mm. you'll be surprised like you charge them an x amount even not really a lot mm. and then you hear them complain so you'll understand why mutiso was reluctant mm. <laughs> Yeah. yeah that makes a lot of sense. Yeah so um I feel like we should talk about leadership a little bit. Yeah. Because I I feel like humans are always led and they are built to be led. Mm. If you're not following you're being led. Ah good one. Mm. Something I had today. Yes. Um if you're not responsible mm. then you'll be taking orders. Ah yes <laughs> yes that one yes yes. Yeah, that makes makes a lot of sense. Mm. You're not responsible you'll be taking orders. Yeah. So how do you perceive leadership? Um leadership and uh, there's some of this question is heading but let's mm. start from leadership. How do you perceive leadership? Uh, leadership is the highest responsibility to man mm. when you're dealing with man. Yes. That is my f- fundamental one. Mm. And when you're t- on a point of leadership you cannot afford to have bad days mm-hmm. and you you technically do have bad days but yes. you cannot afford to have bad days because yeah. you're supposed to be someone that inspires people yes and that means sometimes very sim- things that would probably affect your leadership role mm-hmm. should be you should be able to resolve those things at that level at that level mm. and then when it comes to the point where you're now supposed to share leadership yeah rather to to inspire using leadership mm. it's just doing leadership. Yeah. yeah. I think for me that is the most basic thing I can say about leadership yeah. and I would not like to go to this idea or other stories that people are born with it. Da, 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 da. Sometimes people haven't never there are people who never went to school mm. but they are leaders and sometimes we are like oh this guy did not learn but then the reality is that that is person did not just oh, get the there randomly. Yes. Position of power and leadership is not you don't just land there. Mm people see something in you yes 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 yeah okay okay so <laughs> interesting 
So uh, the reason why I'm, I'm talking about leadership is that this has been a challenge across the world. Not and, and now that you're going to election as Kenyans, uh, guys, this is 2022. <laughs> it's July, so the, the, the election is in August. Is it 9 or 8th? 9th. 9th. Uh, and we are going to change or maybe vote new guys. Mm-hmm. Well, they're not so new. Uh, from the guys who are leading all this, yeah. they're not so new. But Same people. Change of guard. Same shit. We will assume maybe <laughs> they are new to the, the, the high top leadership. Um, and when even you look across the world, because we are not living in a cocoon. Uh, we, are, we are in a global economy, as we said. Yeah. And leadership sometimes affects uh, everyone at different levels. Not so long, there was this ICT law, ICT bill, where mm-hmm. you need to go and get certified, <laughs> get certification every year. Those are Nonsense. leaders who Nonsense, actually yeah. <laughs> pass these things. And you can see, maybe you say, ah, oh, you know, my member of parliament or the president or you know, prime minister, whoever it is in leadership, or maybe even the minister of ICT or agriculture, we all eat, right? Yeah. They might make one policy that actually can affect how you access stuff. Like they did about hunger, the maize flour. Yeah. Uh, they did. They did a policy where they could subsidize the prices, which again looks fishy because now it's close to, uh, to the to the, to the election. election. So, the reason why I feel like we need to be more con- cognizant of like there's leadership, and it's about time we started playing the role and becoming active in how we get leaders how we elect leaders, how we choose leaders, how we hold them accountable, how do we contribute, how do we even inform them what is happening on the ground? Because I feel like some of these guys are out of touch with the reality. Yeah. And the potential, the potential in tech ecosystem can sustain economies. And we have seen this actually even in Japan with their mission. We have seen this in different other places like China, they, they have a whole industry of animation. Yeah. You have seen how tech has changed Hollywood and what they produce. Mm-hmm. And most of it is tech, CGI, green screen. And this is tech. Yeah. But we are here trying to control what can't be controlled. We are here trying to look at guys who are trying to find opportunities to thrive for themselves and for their families. You know, saying, no, guys. I'm not saying there's anything wrong to try and control and try and tax and ensure that, you know, it's contributing to the major economy. Mm-hmm. But when you start nip, you know, nip at the bud, yeah. because you're seeing this is a nice bud. You know how people pluck the, the tea. I know you love tea. Yeah, very <laughs> yeah. much. <I> <laughs> you, you see how that tea comes about. People mm-hmm. nip the, 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 the best bud before it's, it matures to, to lose that yeah. um, essence of caffeine. Uh, and uh, the tea itself, then it becomes detrimental to the effort of young guys who are energetic, who are curious, who want to become the, either the best designers or the best devs or whatever it is. Then you look at it and ask yourself, how does the future of leadership look like? Because you'll sit here maybe again in 2027. Maybe I'll, mm-hmm. I'll be, you know, I, I don't want to say anything, but we'll sit here maybe 2027, 2032. How do you want to contribute? As a designer, how can we design a leadership that actually serves the people, serve the interests of the country in cognizant that we are living in a global ecosystem? I don't want to talk about Russia versus Ukraine. Yeah. That that's comes down to leadership. There is NATO involved. There is US involved. There is China involved. There is always people you know, pointing at each other, guns pointing at each other like, can I shoot... And I not. Yeah. There is North Korea. All these boils down to leadership. And remember, we are living in a global ecosystem. Mm-hmm. And I don't need to explain this because everyone yeah. in these uh, over 7 billion people, wherever they are, they are feeling the heat of good and bad leadership. Yeah. And we cannot sit aside and think, ah, oh, you know, I'm a nobody. No, you're not. Because when these policies are passed, when this is happening, it affects you directly. Directly. How do we design a better leadership? Um, so there's this. Um, so when we talk about design right now, we um, there's 
there's this thing we say design good design is intentional yes good design is intentional, intentional. so i think that is something we need to transfer yeah uh overly and large yes on how we also make decisions on leadership yes and sometimes of course when we have a mass that doesn't have knowledge mm. i don't want to call them foolish or stupid yeah um again this knowledge is denied to them exactly yeah sometimes it's not intentionally yeah. yeah so you see then we have a, an even greater problem mm. of can these people choose good leaders because again when you don't have much knowledge you'll conceive you'll, you'll confuse two things a leader mm-hmm. and status mm. so people assume yes uh, if you have if you have a high status you are a leader yeah when you think about even it in our way, families right yeah <laughs> the yeah. one that dresses respect, well uh, yeah, yeah. you respect your <laughs> <to be> status <laughs> yeah that exactly. makes a lot of sense yeah yeah and then they're given a role of leadership mm. not because they're the best how can we change that kiongozi <laughs> ah, bazu <laughs> bazu <laughs> you know this yeah. the chief exactly yeah. so you see if we get to a point where we can differentiate those two things mm. i think we'll be very mature enough mm. to make some decisions mm. so technically then that means um people you see sometimes people are just when it comes to elections the only civic education that is done mostly it's um how to vote you're not being told who is a good leader the the technicalities yeah. of of things yeah the technicalities yes no one ever you see for instance if you are a serious nation yes and we're talking about design and design is a process essentially like it doesn't stop mm-hmm. right and every any day every day you learn something new and then you'll have to update something even in an agile way yes uh, it sort of always go back to iteration and all that right so that means for instance in every if i were to give an idea that and maybe as a way on it on iteration basically um uh, that means for instance we will have to after the elections maybe let's again embark on a very intentional uh education uh, that is being passed to the masses on what is a good leader yes. otherwise you're always involved in politics well, this guy did that he has not done this mm. uh, funny enough i've seen people complaining that this councilor has not even made this road uh news flash it's not his job mm. but then again a good leader should be able to get up and make relationships that help its constituents and yeah. that means for instance again and i don't want to go into the politics right now yes but some people that are want, are want to run for this post right now mm. they are pure jokes yeah pure jokes yeah, yeah. and those people are not leaders only status their their status yeah yeah and some are banking on the stupidity of kenyans mm. equally yeah but then again if you're going to change that whole thing i think it goes back to educating mm. people yeah, and by the way there is this fascinating fact that the elites don't vote the yeah. people who actually understand and they can see the status you know, they don't care they actually they 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 they, they are the king makers they want yes, uh, yes specific yes, yes, people there yes, yes. So uh, sometimes it's a bit uh, confusing and and frustrating at the same time but all the same I I think you have made a very very uh you know deep statement like let's not vote status and let's vote votes leaders and sometimes leaders are not as aggressive as the status yeah. guys so if we are able to change this uh with time and, and I'm so happy about generation Z uh <laughs> these are the guys who going to change the world These yeah. are the guys they they are not patient for shit. Yeah. They are the guys who look and judge you for what you are if you don't present what they understand or relate to. Even the work environment has changed because of these guys. Well, and we'll talk about that in future thing, episodes. Those people are yeah. rubbish also. They, yeah. In as much they may change things, they also like to very to very much destroy things. Yeah. At the same time. So yes. they will probably build progress and mm. at the same time destroy it. Yes. Uh, that's my take <laughs> that's your take yeah uh, that's why i said we, we'll do this in the future episodes because it's a two edged so yeah. and you should castigate different people to ensure that because even our forefathers actually created what we have even from the computing aspect of things yeah. people made plans people visualized things and that's what we enjoy up to the day mm-hmm. 
So it's our responsibility again as yeah. humans of this nature. And the spirit things in the human moment mm-hmm. to create a better future for us and for the future generations. Up to now, up to this time, we come to an end. Yeah, yeah, It yeah. was John Mwendoa. It was John Mwendoa joining me. Thank you so much, man. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do this more and more times. Uh, we we want to make sure that people are informed in tech, in everything that is happening, yeah. uh, and trying to keep it real because at the end of the day, it's about the conversation that actually uh, informs, uh, shares the knowledge, empowers, yeah. creating pipelines, all that. And I've been your host, one and only, the DJ MK. Or oh, if you, you like you. <laughs> MK, if you like the community lead, if you like another guy who's trying to change things <laughs> here and there, and uh, the so far so good. The status quo. Yeah? So far so good, disrupting the status quo. Courtesy of Impact Masters Media. And thank you so much for joining us. Have a great night, morning, evening. And wherever you are, keep keep joining us. <laughs>